Hi there, and welcome to The Works. I'm Ben Peltier. And I'm Ben Che. In today's show, Hong Kong's Fringe Club. It's in one of the city's most interesting historical buildings. But not only has it recently given that building a new look, it's also discovered more about its history in the process. And we have two indie musicians from Vancouver who've been making music together since 2006, but suddenly found what some people call overnight success. They are Japan droids. We also feature a Russian artist who combines new technologies and modern elements with ideas that may have come from classical art and mythology. She's Olga Tobrilutz. First, though, at Artistry, until the coming Friday on the 8th of February, is the first solo Hong Kong exhibition of Beijing-based artist Song Dong. It's co-presented by Asia Art Archive and the West Kowloon Cultural District's Mobile M+, and it's called Song Dong, 36 Calendars. Song 我們希望這件事可以一直發揚光大觀眾都可以是藝術家 January 21st, 432 people gathered at Artistry in Quarry Bay to collaborate with Song Dong on his project, 36 Calendars. The calendars cover 432 months, starting in 1978. Each participant was invited to add to or change a particular month to bring his or her personal touch to the work. A lot of artists are working with participatory elements within their works, and I think Song Dong is definitely one of those artists who has engaged the public in different ways throughout his career. Um, this is particularly important, I think, for this project because he has been clear from the beginning this is his version of history. And so he felt it very important to open up his version of history and invite other layers of interpretation. Art community. As a basis for the participation, Song Dong began by creating his own hand-drawn calendars depicting the past 36 years. Each month consisted of an illustration and text about a significant event in his own life. It took him a year to create the wire-bound calendars. Hayoyigan 到了这个2013年,就是36年,所以正好也是这个一个恰巧的一个数字,三轮. Song Dong was born in Beijing in 1966. His family had once been prosperous, but his father, Song Xiping, was caught up in a cultural revolution and sent to a re-education camp. He was raised by his mother, Zhao Xiangyuan, whose own grandfather had also been accused by the communists of being a spy in 1953. 
He had been jailed, which had led to her side of the family slipping into poverty. Song Dong himself graduated from Beijing Normal University in 1989, but stopped painting after the suppression of the Tiananmen Square protests, turning to more avant-garde forms of art. His relationship with his family has long been a recurring theme. I very much love my family, and I also like the concept of family. It is also connected to my childhood. My parents gave me a very good childhood. I feel very grateful to them. It is related to this. I feel very grateful to my family. My family has been from my childhood. 嗯，好，那个时候非常重视出身。我觉得我的出身不是红五类家庭，所以呢，肯定是要遭受很多的白眼啊，就是说看看看不起你。In 1997, Song created a video installation touching my father. He says he had few memories of touching his father as a child. For the art piece, he initially wanted to touch him physically. As his father was uncomfortable with that, he needed to project an image of his palm to show his respect and love. In 2002, five years after the piece was completed, Song's father died. His mother had a difficult time coping with it. She began to take her long habit of hoarding items to extremes. In the hope of improving the quality of her life, Song decided to create a large-scale installation out of the more than 10,000 items she had kept in the home. That was his piece, Waste Not, which debuted in 2005 at the Beijing Tokyo Art Projects in Beijing. After my father's death, the impact of the family was very heavy. Especially for my mom. She was in the house and was crying. She was crying for a lot of things. Song Dong's mother died in 2008. In 2011, Wiz Not became part of the Dad and Mom Don't Worry About Us, We Are All Well commemorative exhibition, dedicated by Song Dong to his parents. Detailing his daily life against the backdrop of historical events, 36 Calendars continues to examine the relationship between the personal and the political, the individual and the state, and will run until February 8th, after which it will be online at the Asia Art Archive's website.